Meanwhile, a coalition of medical, religious, and business professionals is speaking out against state question 788. Of course, that's the question on next Tuesday's ballot that would legalize medical marijuana. Our News 9's Aaron Brobeck is on this story. Aaron? Yeah, the coalition met with members of the media today, and members of that coalition were very careful about what your words they chose. Our coalition is not opposed to medical marijuana. The medical community is not against medical marijuana. I'm not speaking against medical marijuana. What they say they are speaking out against is the wording of State Question 788. They say it's vague and seems to cover a variety of medical ailments. That the only supportive evidence for medical marijuana was in the cancer patient for nausea and possibly cancer-related pain. The coalition also points out state question 788 does not cover potency or the hundreds of strands of marijuana. You can't pass a law that allows all strands. It needs to be where we have studied it, where we know about the drug. A marijuana smoke contains a lot of bronchial irritants. It has carcinogens similar to, to tobacco. If approved by voters, 788 requires any application for a medical marijuana license to be signed by an Oklahoma board-certified physician. Members of the coalition argue if 788 does pass, college students can grow pot in dorm rooms, those with licenses can smoke in public places, even places where tobacco is forbidden, and they say a person could carry enough pot to roll 85 joints. We either need to make a choice that we're going to do scientific-backed legislation or we're going to do... Dr. Feelgood Quackery. The backers of State Question 788 say a lot of these issues will be hammered out by the legislature. The governor has said that if 788 does pass, she'll call the legislature back in for a special session. We're live on the scene on the story in Oklahoma City. Aaron Brolbeck, News 9.